Ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Uh, name is Bruce, call sign G4ABX. Right, what you can see on your screen, hopefully at the moment, <laughs> is my Summits on the Air rig set up for digital modes. So we have the uh, KX2, we have the DigiRig mobile interface, I have my Pi Zero 2W and my power supply. <laughs> this is supplying the 5 volts to the uh, Pi. Uh, the rig's running off its internal batteries. The DigiRig is taking power from the Zero 2W via the uh, micro USB and the USB C lead. Everything is working. Give you a quick uh, demo. We're on 20 meters at the moment, and as you can see, using uh, BuilderPi WSJTX, everything is working nicely. So it's all about low weight, SOTA. I'm not getting any younger, and therefore anything I can do to minimise the weight would be good. And looking at this setup, <clears throat> there's, a, there's a couple of items that perhaps <laughs> your eyes are drawn to, uh, which contribute a fair amount of weight of this setup. They're cables. They are really heavy. And in fact, the cables weigh more, the coils on the cables weigh more, than the computer. So I've decided that this is a bit crazy and uh, I really need to do something about that. So these coils of cable have got to go. <laughs> Hence the two new plugs that you can see sat there next to the KX2. Uh, the cables themselves are beautifully made so I don't want to do anything with the KX2 end but I, I do want to reduce the weight of this overall system. So the, the way to do that is essentially to snip the coils out of the way and put new plugs on the ends, a um, couple of different TRRS. So these are, these are four connection plugs. Um, pretty straightforward things to do. You just got to be careful when you solder them that you don't bridge any of the connections but not too difficult and uh, I'm sure it's something that uh, I'll be able to manage. <laughs> now I, I need to be a little bit careful with this because uh, if I wreck anything that'll be the end of my SOTA digital operation. So I'm, uh, I'm going to take some care to get this done and uh, you can follow a bit of that in my next video. So for now, thank you very much indeed. Sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time.